Let's get one thing straight. Being Arab isn't about religion. It's about culture, language, and heritage. Think of it like this. You can be French and Catholic, French and Jewish, or French and atheist. Same goes for being Arab. Arabs are united by a shared language, Arabic. They trace their roots back to the Arabian Peninsula. This vast region has a rich history and diverse cultures. But here's the thing. Not all Arabs are Muslim and not all Muslims are Arab. It's like assuming everyone who speaks Spanish is from Mexico. It's just not that simple. We're about to dive deep into these fascinating cultures. Get ready to explore the beauty and complexity of the Arab world and its connection to Islam. The Arab world is old, really old. We're talking millennia. This is where civilization, as we know it, took root. Think Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, the rise and fall of empires. The Arabian Peninsula? It was a crossroads of trade routes, spices, silks, ideas. Everything flowed through here. This exchange helped shape Arab culture into a vibrant mix of influences. Fast forward to the 6th century AD. This is where our story takes a turn with the birth of a new religion, Islam. In the deserts of Arabia, a prophet named Muhammad emerged. His message? Islam, meaning submission to God. This new faith spread like wildfire. Islam's core tenets resonated with people. It offered a message of equality and justice. It provided a spiritual framework for life and death. Within a century, Islam's reach extended from Spain to India. The Arab Empire became a major force. It was a center of learning, art, and scientific discovery. From Morocco to Oman, understanding the Middle East. The Middle East, it's more than just deserts and oil fields. This region is incredibly diverse. We're talking towering mountains, fertile valleys, and ancient cities. Think of Morocco with its bustling souks and Berber traditions. Or Jordan, home to the lost city of Petra. Don't forget Oman with its stunning coastlines and frankincense trade. Each country has its own unique culture, language, and traditions. To lump them all together as one monolithic Middle East is a mistake. Remember our earlier point? Not all Arabs are Muslim and not all Muslims are Arab. Let's break that down. You've got Arab Christians in Lebanon and Egypt. There are sizable Jewish communities in Morocco and Tunisia, and let's not forget the Kurds, a distinct ethnic group with their own language and culture. On the flip side, Indonesia has the world's largest Muslim population. Nigeria, India, Bangladesh, all have significant Muslim communities. Islam is a global religion. The Middle East is often portrayed in a negative light. Conflict, extremism, oppression, these narratives dominate the headlines. But there's another side to the story. A story of warmth, hospitality, and incredible resilience. A story of ancient traditions, vibrant art scenes, and mouth-watering cuisine. My advice? Don't believe everything you see on TV. Educate yourself. Read books, watch documentaries, travel if you can. The Arab world is full of surprises.